Oh, hey traders, welcome to the video. Please pause the video and make sure you understand the disclaimer before proceeding. I'm just taking a look at the US 100 and marking up this uh, on the daily time frame at the moment. Just where price is, I, I'm, I'm just looking left. We can see that we have this weak high over here. And I mean, this entire range between this and the uh, candle high, let's just uh, level daily, mark that up. From this week high, I mean this entire range, okay, so this is definitely resistance trading into it. How this reacts, uh, trades around in here will be uh, of interest. It could push up a little higher. We've got this candle uh, close and open here. Exactly, if we go back at this uh, week high here, and I mean, if we look left, we can see this This has been a key level here. It's it's reacted off here, rejected. And I mean, even if we go back further, I don't want to. It's uh, it's it's going back a long way. But, you know, we, we can see that this has had a fair bit of business done around this little. So I'm interested in this range from this high up to the uh, the high of this resistance here. I'm just marking this white rectangle as resistance. And then we've got a specific 4H. So with every uh, opportunity, I'm looking for a top-down analysis pretty much. And I'm marking up these levels and having a look and seeing what's under. Now, what we've got here is this price gap. If you have a look at this candle, green candle, look left, uh, the high of the candle on the left and then the low of the current candle. So my question is, you know, does this then look to trade back down through this gap? looking to rebalance okay so this is our balance area down here this red candle and if you if you grab a Fibonacci Fibra trace we pull a fib from low to high well there you go the 61 to 786 the yellow zone down here is my is my point of interest so it's extended and I'm looking for a short opportunity my target so I've got this orange zone as you can see here marked up let me just show you that there the 23.6 to the 38.2. T1 will be somewhere in here. I'll, I'll nail that, um, you know, once I sort of look at where I want to enter, etc. But I generally take two thirds of my position off early around this range. And then I'm looking for uh, an extension. Uh, I'll leave a third of my position in and hopefully it'll, it'll trade down further and we get, we make, you know, make a bit of money. Then I'll be looking for re-entry long, you know, around these levels. So that, that's how I approach it. Uh, we've got that marked up. I'll just tighten up the fib a little bit. And let this just quickly go down. Next port of call is the four hour time frame. Right, there's the fib. There's our daily price gap here. There's our daily order block. There's our resistance range. Well, in fact, it actually, I could mark up, see from this daily level here this is where it's interacting see that it's 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 found resistance so th this is this is the range that i'm interested in as far as resistance is concerned um, so i'll mark that up for our chart my next port of call you know we look left and we can see these levels so we could mark up pretty much like if you're looking for a target well this this would be a target to consider back here this range through here and then we've got this level down here as well at the base of this gap at the high at the high of this uh, this order block of the daily right and then we've got within the order block here uh, you know another level say midway through so that that's more or less what I'm, I'm looking at you know where where is my stop gonna go where are my potential targets etc my stop loss for our chart, you could go one and a half times the average true range, something like that. I would consider that. We're starting to see a little bit of some red candles coming in here. I mean, from here, now that I've got this marked up, this is my roadmap. I'll go down to a 30 or a 15 minute, and then I'm looking for price action to invite me in. And what I'm looking for specifically is, you know, we've got this gap here on the 15. You know, on the lower time frame, look for these gaps as well. Look at this through here. And now this range, just be careful because uh, we're approaching the London market. We're getting a bit of a dip. Well, not really, but what you want to do is mark up the range, the, this Asian session range here. This is mainly what I'm interested in. You want to mark up your charts like this and then let the market tell you where it's going. Let the market invite you in. 
then you have an edge. You don't win every trade, but you have an edge in the market. So the kind of thing I'm looking for here, if I grab my pen, is this range, right? We've got the high and the low of this range. Be careful, right? Now, if they want to short it, they need buy side liquidity. And what do you think this is creating here? There's going to be a ton of retail traders shorting this and setting up stop losses. This is right for the picking through here. So what does smart money do? Be careful. Do they entice more shorts in to increase liquidity value above this range and then drive it back up in to take out stops and then we get our trade, right? So don't be, be jumping in. If you see this break the low here, <laughs> just wait. You want to you wanna wait. When, when you see a fair value, like this is a balance area. And what's going to happen is we, you want to wait for the volatility after this range. It'll sweep up and down possibly, right? Now, if they want to short it, they might fake it out. I call it the fakey shaky. Right, it trades down and then it turns around and it trades back up again and it takes everyone out. All right, the, the fakey, shaky pattern. If this is shorting, watch for that. And after you see it sweep buy side liquidity, you've got these highs back through here. I'll be looking for, I've got too much markup on the chart now. I'll be looking for <laughs> Not so much that, right? But something like, all right, a lower high here. So we've got this high, this high, and a lower high. And then, you know, a, a trend sets up down here, lower highs, lower lows. Look for a thin candle in here, uh, uh, an imbalance. And especially if this wicks back up through the gap in here, all right, that's getting a little bit technical. And then it sets up, another lower high, that would be an entry point. Or up, down, it breaks that. It's getting really messy. And then there's your entry point, right? Something like that. If, if you're a little bit scared, look for the break and retest under here. I'm pretty aggressive and I'm likely to go for this. Uh, so anyway, that that's what I'm kind of looking for with this. Now, guys, I want to invite you to join my Discord group. It's free to join I'm in there, Asian session, London session, and generally into the into the US Open. Join us in Discord. There's so much going on in there. It's a great resource. Look forward to seeing you in there. Have a great day. See you in the next video.